the place is here. Show no fear when it go. Why? Reasons why. I am the witness. I am the witness. Everybody else witnessing it, you know what I'm saying, all over the world has witnessed since the beginning of LeBron James from high school all the way to the NBA. But no one has a story like I have a story. What got me to where I'm at now, I left the queue after the first season, but always was a diehard fan. Always was a diehard fan because I say I, I share some of the same things that LeBron James shares. Me being born 1981, Akron Children's Hospital, the same place where LeBron James was born. Moved back to East Cleveland when I was five years old. I was raised in East Cleveland. East Cleveland raised me. So, you know, I didn't have a choice to stay in Akron or not, but if I did, you know, I would have stayed in Akron. 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 I started all off back in 2000. I started working at the Gund Arena way before they changed it to the Q Arena. I seen one of LeBron James high school games up in PA when he was playing at Mellon Arena. Finished culinary school, went back to the gun to do my externship. First round draft pick goes to the Cleveland Cavaliers. First round draft pick everybody was looking at, the king himself, LeBron James. So, I worked the first season when LeBron James was there, back when it was still the Gund Arena. Working in the kitchen, 16, 18 hour days. <laughs> People there, they know about it. We had an almond station. You know, well, what's my luck of LeBron James' personal, you know, uh, not trainer, personal assistant, personal assistant, come to me, told me what the king wanted in his omelet, flipped him up an omelet real quick, served, he's, you know, got served the omelet. So, you know, when it, come, when it came down back in 2010, LeBron James had the choice to leave or stay. His choice was to leave. So throughout that whole four years of him being down in Miami, like I said, still a loyal, diehard fan. I wanted to do a song for the NBA. Took a trip down to Miami. Wound up getting on Hot Hot Hoops Media with one of the Miami's media personnel to show my loyalty of coming down all the way from Ohio, coming all the way down to Florida to share my loyalty and my passion for the game of basketball and for music. Like I said, I wind up getting on Hot Hot Hoops Media. Where have you come from, my man? Yeah, how y'all doing? Uh, this is your boy DJ Burns, came all the way from Ohio to come down here to support my man LeBron James. Go ahead, check that tattoo out. I'm oh, a uh, no more than a fan. You know, I'm more than a fan. We from, we both from Akron. So, so you got, Ohio. so you gotta tell me when the king left, you went mad. You followed him. You, you played your allegiance to the hate. When he, when, when, when LeBron left, I was happy for him. Reason why I was happy for him because he was chasing his dream, just like I'm chasing my dream. That went well. Did the song. No one took the bait. So, playoffs, finals with Miami. They lose, he had a choice to either stay in Miami, come back home, or go to another team. The King decided to come home. Before they had this party, I did a back home introduction song right in front of the queue called Back Home. A lot of views on it, you know. A lot of people, you know, liked it. Wind up regular season over with. 
right before, after the All-Star game, I'm already in the studio. I'm doing something for the playoffs. I got a Cavs introduction. I'm all outside the queue, performing with my Bluetooth uh, speakers, uh, mic, props, and like I said, just striving to be great myself. Did something for the NBA. NBA action. This is what they fight for. All season. Six months. Blood. Sweat. Tears. But they can only be one champ. Over 2,000 views on Ramona Robinson page. I'm up to 1,500 plus on YouTube. Like I said, I never had numbers like that two, three years ago. What's so important for this season, 2015, 2016, not only for the city of Cleveland, the Cleveland Cavaliers, going back to the playoffs, showing up to the finals again, and winning the championship for the city. I mean, I feel as if just me being a part, a little part of it, making history. One of the greatest things that you know he ever said that meant something to me was he said, you know, I'm just a kid from Akron. He still got love from Cleveland, always had love for Cleveland. Mad love for Ohio. But he was just a kid from Akron. So me sharing some of those same roots of being from Akron and me going through my own path with being a chef and wanting to be an MC, rapper, into the entertainment business. I'm striving for greatness for myself. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of his fight and the hope of the brave. Ladies and gentlemen, Please remain standing for the introduction of your Eastern Conference Champions, Cleveland!